Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com and today it's about prostate cancer and breast cancer and how there's actually research and therapeutic studies showing how without chemo, without radiation, you can actually reduce the tumor. And I have Dr. Bastidas with us and he is a research scientist and in a previous interview I did with him, he went into great detail how he was able to help a gentleman with very aggressive late stage prostate cancer to having no tumor whatsoever. And so I wanna share with you an excerpt from that interview specifically related to enzyme therapy and prostate cancer. Now he's used the same therapy for breast cancer patients as well, and the results are amazing. Everything he's sharing with you is already researched and it's been publicized, so it's not anything outside of the realm of what is appropriate to share. And I'll also put a link down below to the specific enzymes that he used for this patient, and his office was very generous to give us a 25% off discount to all of our followers. So make sure you get that coupon code down below Hello. Here's the excerpt from the interview specifically about the prostate cancer treatment, which was also used in breast cancer. Do you have any testimonies that you want to share from people taking proteolytic enzymes? You know, at, at, uh, at Transformation, I, I, I'm director of research and I do, I do case studies. Um, and my, one of my most recent case studies, we performed on a gentleman uh, who was 71 years old with uh, prostate adenocarcinoma. Uh, so here's where we get into, you know, how you could use these proteolytic enzymes as an adjunct uh, protocol in, in conditions such as cancer. And, you know, uh, these anti-cancerous properties are in the literature. Um, you know, I'm, 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 this isn't me speaking. I always speak out of what I, I research and what I find in the literature. Um, so seeing that proteolytic enzymes have anti-inflammatory properties and anti-oncogenic properties, I went ahead and did a case study on this gentleman, 71 years old, uh, confirmed via biopsy uh, to be having um, prostate adenocarcinoma. He had a tumor in the prostate uh, <laughs> that was uh, shown by an MRI. He also had uh, uh, muscle hypertrophy uh, in the pelvic region. Uh, he had a PSA, prostatic specific antigen, of uh, 336. Uh, for, for the public out there, a PSA should be below 4. And his was 336. Wow. So that's huge. That's, a, that, that, that's huge. And via biopsy, they gave this a Gleason score of 4 plus 4. Uh, eight, which means it's aggressive. The Gleason score is a, it's a, it's a point system they give uh, prostate cancer, and it's from two to ten, and he had an eight. An eight shows that it was uh, aggressive, it, it was uh, malignant, um, and it, uh, it, it had uh, ability to spread. So we went ahead and dosed this uh, gentleman for six months, and we used 30 grams of our proteolytic blend. That's, you know, for you to put it in perspective, that's about 60 capsules a day. Okay, that's a lot. So that's where I was mentioning in the beginning that, you know, there's no toxicity issues with this. Unless you're allergic to one of the ingredients within the capsule, you're not gonna have a problem. So, you know, we, of course, we don't dose off that mega dose right at the beginning. You know, we start slow and we start going up little by little, little by little, just to see, uh, just to show the patient, you know, to see if the patient tolerates it. There's people that are very sensitive, others can eat rocks and, you know, nothing happens. But, you know, you want to start low. We started at five grams uh, a day and we went up to 10 grams, 15 grams. We ultimately got to 30 grams, which was about 60 capsules a day. And we did this for about six months. The patient was only on testosterone blockers, which is one of the first things they do for prostate cancer. Uh, they put them on, on testosterone blockers, and they, that's it. They just kept them under observation. No chemo, no surgery, no radiation, nothing, just testosterone blockers. We dosed for about six months uh, 30 grams of the uh, proteolytic 
uh, enzyme blend. And we did a follow-up MRI after six months. Results, no tumor in the prostate. Uh, all the inflammatory markers that were measured were completely resolved. No more muscle hypertrophy within the pelvic region. The lymph nodes that are, with the MRI showed to be inflamed were completely resolved. They went back to normal. And the PSA that was 336 came down to 0 0.6, well below normal levels. So that's one of my biggest testimonies right now with that most recent case study I performed on prostate cancer. Um, again, gentleman had no surgery, no chemo, no radiation. All we did was mega dose of proteolytic enzymes. Uh, he did, of course, you know, he, he, uh, in the beginning, before we got together, he started doing, you know, vitamins, minerals, herbs. He started doing a lot of things, uh, in order to, you know, when, when you're diagnosed with cancer, um, a lot of people, uh, you know, they tremble. And you start reaching out for, you know, whatever it is out there and you start, put, you know, throwing everything into the kitchen sink in, in order to, for you to combat this. And, and, you know, that's perfectly understandable. Um, it's always about the patient. It's not about me. It's not about the enzymes. It's always about the patient. So I allowed him to keep doing whatever he was comfortable with in terms of supplementation. Um, we lowered as many things as possible to the most minimal things that he was, he was comfortable with to be without, um, but what we did was we increased that proteolytic enzyme blend up to 30 grams, and in six months, we were able to get this patient cancer-free, and this was about a year and a half ago. A couple of months ago, he texted me, his latest PET scan still showed him free of cancer. So, you know, that's, that, that, to me, that's a big testimony. And, and, and again, I am not preaching this to be a treatment for cancer or for this to cure cancer, but there's a lot of evidence that points to these proteolytic enzymes having anti, you know, oncogenic properties. I could speak to how, you know, cancer has hallmarks, uh, the characteristics that every cancer behaves uh, with. Um, they are able to evade the immune system that these cancer cells are able to turn off signals that your immune system has in order for the cell to die because you know every cell in our body has programmed cell death you know they all have a, a, a time where they expire and you know god has made them to die whenever they run their course well these cancer cells turn off those death signals in order for that cell to keep surviving and proliferating and and reproducing and spreading. So there's several hallmarks of cancer that they all abide by, whether it's, you know, prostate cancer, you know, breast cancer, you know, all, almost all cancers have these hallmarks that they, that, 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 that they use in order, in order for them to survive. They're also able to turn on certain mechanisms to innervate themselves, to, I mean, to uh, um, um, get blood supply to, them, to themselves in order for them to, to keep on growing. Um, so there's different things that they can do in our body in order to uh, survive and to spread. Well, proteolytic enzymes have properties that shut off some of those signals that cancer turns on in order to survive. And this is in the literature, you know, and we have references for all this. Um, for example, there is a, a transcription factor uh, called BAX, which is a uh, apoptotic signal, a signal that tells the, the cell to die. Well, cancer, these tumors are able to turn off that BAX so that that signal doesn't tell the cell to die and it keeps surviving. Well, bromelain is able to, uh, uh, which is bromelain, it comes from pineapple, it's a proteolytic enzyme, is able to modulate that signal in order for it to tell the, the cell to go ahead and die when it needs to. So then, you know, there's different steps and different signals within your cells that tells the immune system to let this cell survive or tell the immune system to kill the cell because it's reached its course. Uh, and cancer is very, very smart in 
providing its own signals for its own survival. And proteolytic enzymes are God's nutrient that helps our cells thrive when they need to and go away when it's time for them to go away. Well, I hope you enjoyed that interview with Dr. Bastidas. He is amazing. We have actually brought him in in our Conquering Cancer course, and he has done webinars for us is there as well. Now, we saved those calls in the archive calls of that cancer course. If you haven't already checked out our Conquering Cancer course, I highly recommend it. Every month, we either bring in professionals or we do specific webinars so that you can come in and ask questions. It's not just about if you have cancer, it's about maybe you're just trying to prevent cancer. Maybe you just want to be informed about cancer, or maybe you are in the overcoming cancer stage. It doesn't matter where you are when it comes to cancer. It is a topic we need to be very aware of. So that's why we put together the Conquering Cancer course and Dr. Bastidas, his webinar that he did specifically with those in the course is in our archives. And we have other physicians coming to join our webinars each month. So I hope you take advantage of that course. It's just a one-time fee and then you have it the rest of your life. Well, for the rest of you, if you want to continue learning God's recipe for excellent health, please check out Biblical Nutrition Academy, where we have all of our courses that you can learn at your own pace. And if you're ready to be coached and, you know, I just need someone to answer questions or to help me with my mindset so I can see the results sooner with less effort, then that's our inner circle coaching calls. So check all of that out at the Biblical Nutrition Academy. And in the meantime, make sure you grab our free materials at the biblicalnutritionist.com. Thanks for letting me share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And it always includes the number one ingredient, God loves you. And his love was the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's always there for you. He's waiting to have a personal relationship with you so that he can reveal great and mighty things just for you. Thanks for watching. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your journey towards reclaiming your health and rediscovering God's answers. I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist, and I'm thrilled to invite you to our Biblical Wellness Retreat this October 3rd through the 5th. Are you struggling with cancer, infertility, or simply just seeking a deeper connection with the Lord? This retreat is designed just for you. We're deep diving into biblical truths and ancient flavors that will help you reclaim your health, both physically and spiritually. Imagine a setting where you can connect with others who truly understand your journey, where you're gonna learn cutting edge techniques for overcoming health challenges, and where you're going to rediscover the joy of God's presence. Together, we'll explore God's cellular design and how you can feed it for immediate changes and how to know what is happening in your blood and why it matters. Our goal is to help you heal and reclaim your health to leave the retreat with a personal plan that you can start immediately. Now, space is very limited, so don't wait. Click the link below to secure your spot and take the first step towards prospering and being in good health, as it says in 3 John. I can't wait to see you there.